Carly McCord for 104.5, 104.9 ESPN here with Matt Moscona from After Further Review. Matt, we are here for kickoff in Tiger Stadium. It's first game of the season versus McNeese State. What are you expecting to see from newly named starting quarterback Brandon Harris? Well, hopefully for Brandon Harris and the offense, we see a lot of points early. The one thing that could sort of derail the offense and Harris is if they start off slowly. We saw this last year in the New Mexico State game where Anthony Jennings started slowly. That opened the door for Brandon Harris. LSU is going to be going against a physically inferior opponent tonight. They need to strike early and often. We've seen that already several times today. Ole Miss did it. Arkansas did it. Georgia did it. LSU needs to follow suit. Speaking of Brandon Harris, who are some other impact players that you're looking to see a lot from tonight? Well, I think in a game like this specifically, where LSU is expected to get a big lead, we may get to see a lot of those highly touted freshmen in the second half. I am so interested to see the two freshman running backs, Darius Geis and Nick Brissett. They're going to take the lion's share of the carry. If this game goes according to script in the second half when LSU's trying to run the clock, we should see a heavy dose of four and five. The two freshmen could take a big step tonight into solidifying carries in meaningful moments in SEC play down the line. So we have uh, Kevin Steele's new this year. What are some differences that you're expecting to see versus Chavis last year? Oh, pressure. Pressure. Kevin Steele, Ed Ogeron have talked about it all throughout camp. They've made no secrets about it. Last year, LSU only 19 sacks on the season. Kevin Steele, Ed Ogeron are going to bring pressure. A lot of times John Chavis would rush three, rely on that great secondary to cover. I don't think you're going to see that this year. You're going to see Kevin Steele rely on man-to-man -man coverage and bring pressure from his front seven. Pressure tonight. All right, Matt, what's your prediction versus McNeese State? Yeah, I think it's going to be something like 34-7. to Really, the only question should be if McNeese is going to score in this ball game. Les Miles traditionally does not run up the score in these types of games, but the average score in FCS games for the Les Miles era, 41-9. to So you'd look for something around that range. Looking for a big W tonight. Once again, I'm Carly McCord. He's Matt Moscona for 104.5, 104.9 ESPN Baton Rouge.